In this video, we're going to look at how we can add multiple languages to a survey in Dynamics 365 Customer Voice. Okay, so we're looking at a survey here, we're on the design tab, and the survey has just a few basic questions asking for feedback about an event. Now, I've got this in what's called my default language. My default language is whatever language is set up for the um, Microsoft Office 365 environment. Now, if I click over here, if I just close this, if I click on customization from the right hand menu when we're on the design tab, we can see that we've got languages as an option. Now, we can see the default, mine's set up as English United States. That's actually wrong for where I am, but that's what the default one is in this environment that I'm using. What we can see here is if there were any additional languages, we would see them and we have an option to add a language. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and I'm going to add French. Now, if I start typing FR, because there are different variants of um, French or Spanish or whatever it might be, we can see that when I put this in, we've got Afrikaans, we've also got um, French Canadian, and then we have um, Francais or from France. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick that one and then German. If I start typing German, we can see there, and then we'll also do Spanish as well, and we can see that we've got three options. I'm gonna pick this one. All right, so once I've added those, if I go ahead and I hover my mouse over the language I've added, if I click on the pencil icon to edit, what we'll see is that we've got the English version and then underneath we've got a box for each one, which is where I would go ahead and actually paste in what the translation was. So I can manually do it for each of those, which if you've just got one additional language, that's not so bad, but I've got three. So it's gonna be a bit time consuming if I do it that way. So what I can do is I can download an Excel template. Now, what this template is going to have is based on the number of languages that I've actually added, we can see that we have a um, column for each language. We can see then there's the default with all of our questions. What I need to do then is basically put the translation of whatever each of these are in my default and then put it in for the correct language. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and do this, so I'm gonna go ahead and in a moment I will um, well, I'm going to stop and I'm going to go ahead and then fill everything out and then we'll start again so we can go from a translated file. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've translated everything. I've used Google Translate, so if you do speak these other languages and it's wrong, sorry, but it's Google's fault because I don't speak these languages fluently. All right, so now I can see that I've got all of my French, my German and my Spanish. I've got those translated. All right, perfect. If I go back to my survey, right where we had downloaded this Excel template, we can go ahead and we can upload it. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to um, open where I've got that saved. We can see that it's uploading the document and it shows that the file has been uploaded. And here at the bottom, we can see the name of the file that I just uploaded. So that's great. So if I now go into one of these individual ones and click edit, now I can see there's the French all translated. But if I click back again, I can still always see what the default language is, whatever I translated it from. So now if I go ahead and I share a link to this, if I go ahead and preview it or share the direct link, what we're going to get is it will show based on the browser, the language that is set in the user's browser. So there is a setting in each of the browsers to where you can say what language do you want to use. So depending on what that is, it would show the appropriate language translation. If their language is set to something that I have not added as a language, it will just show the default. I can change and I can switch and say, okay, let's see the French version, or let's see the Spanish, or let's see the German. So I can switch that automatically. I'm gonna do a couple of other videos, one that will show how you can embed a survey into a website and determine the language, and also how you can actually share the link and determine which language you want to have displayed when you share the link to the survey. So hopefully this helps, quite quick, quite simple, um, but it's a really, really easy way to be able to set up your surveys and then set various languages so that when you're sharing it out, then hopefully 
you can be showing your customers a language that is their default language um, and they can have a look at it rather than being in your default language. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.